Obrigado. How lovely to see you here again. Eddie has just flown back into this country from Los Angeles, California. I flew the plane myself. No, you did not, did you? But you could, you can fly planes, can't you? Well, in an emergency, if everyone's gone. No, I can't fly. You see, now you're just confusing but me. Until I hit the ground. It's out the window, it's really good. And then. <laughs> <laughs> that land, it's the landing over five okay. stories high. That's but you tricky. have just come in from Los Angeles, haven't you? I have. Okay. <laughs> now, <laughs> do you live there now? Well, no, I'm based there. I live here. Okay, but when you say you're based and you live here, how much time do you spend there and how much time do you spend here? 72 hours every three minutes. <laughs> well, a long well, I'm doing this drama, doing this drama yes. called the, uh, the Riches out there, and so I have to be there doing it. Like Hugh Laurie is doing House, and I'm well, doing. Well, this is what I'm going to It seems to be like they're having a bit of an invasion of Britain there, because Hugh Laurie, that's a huge hit house, isn't it? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Riches, I believe, has been very well received. You're doing a second series, so that's a hit as well. Yeah, it's well, uh, yeah, it's, it's it's just great. It's, it's what I wanted to do. It's it's, it's a drama with. Um, with a slight hint of comedy, like those Dulux paints. Okay. <laughs> so like the one that's white with a bit of apple blossom. Exactly. Which is my favourite. Um, there you are with the lovely Mini Driver. You went together. What's it actually about? It's about a group of travellers, where American Irish travellers. It's like Bonnie and Clyde had a family, okay. and they decided to steal the American dream this time. But yeah. it seems that this has been a project that you've been working on for some time before it actually happened. It took two years uh, of they developed the, 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 the script and the, they do a pilot, and then they go, mm, do we want to do this? And then so it was a two years getting yeah. it into the space. But I have these, you know, these five-year star on plans. Uh, so you, you, you had that blocked in. You thought, I want to go to America, try and get a hit series. Yeah. Which is easier said than done. Well, yeah, I wanted, to, you know, something, either get a film going, but I was trying to push into the drama thing. And if you, if you hit in comedy, because my comedy is sort of well-known there in a cult yeah. way, and then if you're trying to go into drama, just like over here, people go, whoa, yeah, yeah, yeah. why are you doing that? Yeah, yeah. Well, the, you it, did that thing. It confuses people. I know, because you were doing that, and then you're just yeah. not doing it. Uh, but it has been a hit, hasn't it? I mean, it's been... Yeah, no, it was great. I it, love it. They, they seem to love it. The press wrote it up. I mean, because they said The Sopranos is on the way out, and now The Riches is coming in, and could it take over? And well, thought, that's a great, what a great thing to be compared to. Well, we designed it that way. This is what the head of the network was saying. You know, we want something to do something like The Sopranos. And then they were writing it up like that. It's as if we'd paid them. But it's not similar in the, in the actual nature of the storyline. It's not gangsters, uh, not kind of old mafia kind of guys. No, we're, we're con artists, okay. and, and we take over someone else's. Yeah. Life. Some people die, and we take over their life, and uh, and tr and just you know try and you know, I become a lawyer, and the kids go to private schools. So why is it called the Riches? Is that the name of the family? Yeah, the family that, okay. that died that we took over there. Okay, their I want to show a clip of this. I don't think anyone's got it over here yet, but I'm no. sure they will before long because it looks like it's. Oh, I can see why it's been popping in the states. This is Eddie in his first genuine big American hit series. Congratulations Thank you. in the Riches. I don't know you, do I? Oh, I'm with uh, you. Mean old Sand Trap here? <laughs> Doug, meet Hugh Panetta. Biggest asshole east of the Mississippi. <laughs> you flatter me, Jim. How's that 30 handicap coming along? <laughs> so what do you do when you're not pissing on my golf course, Doug? I'm a lawyer, Hugh. Liar, huh? A lawyer. Now what I just said? Where'd you go to lie school? <laughs> Georgetown, class of 88. Some come later. You? Well, it's a small world. Bill's a liar. Raymond's a liar. I hear liars pull it left. How do you pull it, Doug? I'm not your average liar, Hugh. Oh, here we go. Here we go. What do you say, boys? 100 bucks a hole? 100 bucks sounds great. That's a hell of a golf shot there. I would like to see how that plays out. It's an intriguing moment. He's pretending to be a lawyer. Yeah, I just because um, the next door neighbors have we've, we've, we, these people have died. We've moved into their house, and then the next door neighbors come around. So I thought we better talk to them. And then this guy says, "I got to go. I got to go and play golf." And, uh, and and then I go, "Oh, that's great golf." And then my golf clubs, the, well, the dead guy's golf clubs, come moving in because the movers are moving stuff in. <laughs> So, and he says, you play golf. Uh, yeah, apparently. <laughs> so I had to go and play golf. But, but you seem to know how to play the game in real life. Is that you doing so a genuine... A, a bloke taught me about ten minutes before that shot. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's why it's not, a, it's not a very elegant shot. But it was right up the fairway. Uh, well, it's a good shot, then. I know, it ruined my shoulder. But is it going to be coming over here? Does anyone have it uh, for it, the UK it, television? It is. There, well, they're, well, they're just talking.
talking to people now, so it's um, we'll see w where that goes. Uh, so you spend a lot of time of the year over there, I guess, though. Yeah, you, you have to because you, you, so you shoot for about five months. So. Right. Um, uh, I don't think I would like to do that, not that it's ever going to happen to me, because I like being here in England. Do you not miss being in England? I do, and I watch BBC America intensely, and I watch things like, like Poirot, which I call Porrot, and, uh, you know, <laughs> and, and, and Midsummer Murders. What's happening in that village? Is just everyone dying? Yeah. How can they have... Because you know the Sweeney... It's all the travellers going through, that's what it is, apparently. A lot of them are like that. Not no, all of them. But in the Sweeney, you believed it. That was in London, and they were going out, and there was armed robbery every week, yes. and you kind of believe it. And then, then Morse in Oxford, and you think, well, probably some stuff happens in yeah. a town. And then in a village, there's just piles of bodies that hacking and slashing. <laughs> well, you see, but you have to suspend disbelief. It's like Jonathan Creek. You know, most magicians don't encounter that many murders. No. Okay? But if he hadn't, it would have been quite a dull show. It would have just been pick a car. <laughs> <laughs> Not entertaining. I understand. But so I, I, do, I do miss it. I yearn for green uh, countryside. So, so if it uh, takes off you even even bigger way, would you, and you have to be over there permanently, would you do that? Would you I'll upwards? never be there permanently. I'll never be anywhere permanently. Well, you've always been, you yourself are a bit of a, a gypsy in that respect, aren't you? Well, I, I was born in Yemen, yeah. So, we, so I've always sort of moved about and then lived in Northern Ireland, lived in Wales. Lived See, in... when you say born in Yemen, you know, I have to stop and think, it sounds like you've made that place up, of course. But that, where is that? That's in the Middle East somewhere, isn't it? No, I made it up. Where? <laughs> is it in Turkey? It's somewhere near Turkey, isn't it? Yeah, you know Turkey? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is it in Turkey? Well, you get the lights at Turkey, okay. and you turn well, right. But no, but seriously, I'm... <laughs> you go up, look, look. Down. I'm, I'm happy in my ignorance. Most people, you don't know where Yemen is, do you? No, you don't. Don't even pretend you do it. Saudi Arabia, bottom of Saudi Arabia, what? there are two countries holding up that big boot down there, and there's Yemen on one no, side. No, the boot the is mark. Italy. No, but there's a bigger boot. Isn't there a boot in Saudi Arabia? No, there's area? no boot. Isn't there a boot? Yeah, see some geography people, some cartographers. Saudi tonight. Arabia. So, in the boot, where in the boot did you live? I lived in the heel of the boot. Okay. How long were you living in the heel of the boot? One year, but I made it sound like a million years. Well, no, it's just, it's, it sound, it's great. It's on my passport, and the Americans go crazy, because you're born there, and your name is Izzard, and it's got two Zs, like, like in Jazeera, Al Jazeera, and God, and you're a transverse, I hit him, hit him. <laughs> in fact, because I've been through immigration wearing a dress, and... and no, and, hold on, yeah. hold on. We can't, you can't use that as part of a story. That's a whole story right no, there. No, no, stay with it. Stay with it. Because I went through, and it was, uh, it, you know, because it's got two, two Zs in my name, you know, yes. and I was born in Yemen, so they're going like this. But I was wearing a dress and makeup, so they thought, <laughs> well, he's not Al Qaeda, is he? You know. <laughs> and well, what a brilliant ruse. That could be deep cover for Osama bin Laden. Well, it could be. But then going he... dressed as like, uh, you know, Dame Judi Dench, and they'd be so <laughs> confused that they they believe it. It actually got me through quicker, so because <laughs> they would look at me and say, "What do you do?" And go, they were terrified of you. But that's quite something. That I mean, that's a brave thing to do, I think, because I know you're very relaxed about your transvestism, is that the correct phrase? Uh, and yet, to go through on a flight and then and know you've got to go through customs, you must have thought, okay, this might cause a bit of a, a problem. Yeah, you know? it's not customs, it's immigration. The customs, are, you're stealing those breasts, you're bringing them in, you know. <laughs> I don't know why all these Americans are speaking like this, but they said, come on in, lad, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but they let you through, they didn't have a problem with it. No, because I looked so like a transvestite <laughs> and not like an Al-Qaeda operative. But it's nice to know, I approve of that, it's nice to know that they, uh, they are open-minded in that respect, because you tend to think of people at immigration, in particular, being very suspicious by nature. And you also go for a very posh English accent at the same time. And ah. that, that has a, I'm terribly sorry, I'm, I'm wearing a dress. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you're wearing a dress. <laughs> An awful lot of makeup. Terribly sorry. Uh, now, I'm excited about the fact that you're going to be in a big summer movie as well, uh, in Ocean's 13. Yes, you had a problem with Ocean's 12, didn't you? I didn't like Ocean's 12 at all. I thought it was indulgent nonsense. Right. It wasn't your fault. Right. Well, you know, I was only in two scenes. It's not well, my fault. I'm not fault. blaming you for it, Eddie, but you had to raise it, and so I thought I'd deal with it. Okay. But 13, have you seen 13? No, and I want to see it because it looks dynamite. Well, you see, interestingly, I had two, I had two scenes. So Steven Soderbergh said, come back. I have this very small role in this thing. And then, uh, and then he said, oh, we're going to do some extra shooting. And you come back, you've got another scene. And it was ten and a half pages, which is just hours worth of scene. Yeah. I don't know if it's still in, but it was just me, Brad, and George. Oh, listen to that. No, 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 no. What a no, no. 